We'll now move on to the section where we emphasize that we can't get non-parametric identification of the ATE using instrumental variables. So why didn't we see instruments in week 5 when we were looking at identification? Well, the answer is that week 5 was about non-parametric identification, where we don't make any assumptions about the structural equations or the causal mechanisms that generate the variables. So if you recall, in that week we saw a necessary condition for non-parametric identification. And that necessary condition was, for each backdoor path from T to any child that is an ancestor of Y, it is possible to block that path. So in this graph, just consider that Y is an ancestor of itself. And here in this graph, Y is a child of T, but we can't block this backdoor path for U because U is unobserved. Therefore, this necessary condition tells us that we can't get non-parametric identification in this case. We're going to have to make some assumptions about the parametric form for the structural equations that generate some of these variables. So, for example, instruments might look a bit similar to the mediators in the front door criterion, but we don't have non-parametric identification when we have an instrument, whereas we do have non-parametric identification when we have the front door criterion satisfied. 